Would you look at all that extra money I got? Oh, baby! Let's spend some of that. Let's, uh... Spend some of that. Get Rance up there. Yeah! 800's nice. Who else needs some of this? Meta! Guard units are cheap. Let's boost him up. Let's get him up to speed with cats. He's got to compete with cats. The mostly superior guard unit. Uh, who else is worth my money? Who else is worth my dime? Probably not anybody. Isoroku, she's still shit. I gotta. I owe it to her. You know, I've been saying that the whole game, and I'm gonna say it till the end of the game because I know I'm never gonna make it up to her. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Anything interesting in the prison? Uh, no, not at all. In, in fact, let me release all of these. I don't want Sakai Taratsuka. I got enough ninjas. And there were 15, so that's three happy Pokeru. Thank you, YouTube viewers, for commenting and letting me know that it is it is truly five. It is a requirement of five units. I, I know how to count. I do know how to count. I'm just not... I'm really negligent, and I just don't pay attention to it at all. And I make assumptions about the game that I have no reason to do. I have no reason to assume some of the things. I just do, anyway. One of those things was that it would know. I released three troops my last turn. I released two my next turn. It would give me a Pokeru for that. I don't know if it does that. I just never tried it. I never kept track. And let me feed these to Rants, because I, let's face it, I'd rather have a 99 than two, whatever 99 divided by two is. <laughs> I, I don't want a Kentaro. Um, though I will give you that right now. His, uh, where is it? Kentaro's Great Adventure, Yama, Yamato. That's just Yamato. I was gonna say Yamamoto, but that would have made me look stupid. Anyway, these are the scenes he has that I was talking about. They give him five free levels. Uh, they are in several provinces. Um, one of Uesugi's, uh, one of Takuga's, one of Shimazu's, this one here. Uh, perhaps one of Hojo's. Oh god, sorry, I just blew in my mic. Hardcore there. Uh, there are a handful of them, and you want to do them all. They're not hard to do, and the benefits are huge. Five levels is pretty good. I mean, you can see there are released 15 captured people and got three levels. So, it's a boon. It's a good boon. Well, all boons are good, right? Okay, uh... Troops, yeah, I replenish them all. I just forget. I, I forget really quickly, right? Okay, so back to Akashi. Uh, now there are no more new A interruptions, and I can just breeze through it with ease. Breeze through with ease. And uh, let's put out Dosan Chan as well. Um, Ganko. I, I don't really need to save my powerhouses for the last fight, but I'm probably going to. Um, just because it's a castle. And you can see there are few women in this army, and there are even more young boys. And there is a diviner here. I said that there may not be any, but there turns out to be one. That's a weak diviner, and we're seeing it now. I mean, we've been, I've, uh, I guess I've only fought two battles against them. That's not bad. Never mind. Uh, their front row isn't even that good. All guard Shikigami with 33 troops. Good move, Saijo Hidego. I'm sure that's her name. Hidego. She's a badass. She knows her shit. She's like, 33 people? Shikigami's not gonna be good. Summon an ogre. We can't summon an ogre with 33 people. So I'll just do nothing. I'll guard, I'll guard Shiki. That's what she did. Puts her in a good way. Till I do this. Um, hit those guys with it. I guess, I don't know if that was a, a better or worse idea, but that's one of the good things for uh, sweeping fire right there, is all guard shiki removal. Chun Chun Shuriken is good for that as well. Um, oof, let's just do this. I, I probably should have gotten rid of a, a guard shiki or something with that, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh well. Um, all right, just hit this guy again. Uh, uh, I could have, I could have gotten rid of a guard, Shiki. I, I don't know. You, you know the things I could have done better. But he killed himself, so it all turns out fine. The game handicapped itself for me. Thank God. Um, yeah. So my tacticians right now. I is still really my only good one. Gonko's. Oh, I haven't used Gonko's ability. Um, I'll show you that when it's his turn to go again. 
Um, oh, that's because I didn't actually get it yet. Never mind. I'm, uh, I'm ruining your immersion in my videos. Sorry. But I, I, uh, Ganko is 7 out of 7 affection. I gotta give him a new ability. One that will make him stand out is more useful. Uh, as it stands, he's just... I only deploy him now for his initial buffs, right? I don't, I don't target people with him to buff, and I attack with him. His attack is okay. But he'll get a good ability whenever I get around to giving him that. I promise. And as you can see, this was not a hard fight. None of them with Akashi are... Uh, gosh, I don't think I've ever even lost a fight against Akashi. I don't know, but you can see that Doji's growing all on her own. She grows, she gets stronger, she is the snowball effect. She's beautiful, so all the men s swoop to her unit of average strength. And here she is, uh, Hibachi. Hibachi-chan, that's what it is. Wait, is Chan? Yeah, Hibachi-chan. Um, and Kazemaru does the most 12-year-old thing I've ever seen in a video game, and he releases her. Isn't that cute? He gives her the command to live. Now, no one over the age of innocence. <laughs> That's what I'll call it, because it's usually in your teens where you lose that. Would do something like this. Oh, that's great. That is so great. It is refreshing, and I really like the way her eyes look. I would like to call that out right now. Beautiful eyes. That is, uh, that is a wonderful color mix-up. And probably <laughs> the best part about her age scenes are her eyes. Uh, that's rare. You don't say that a lot. Um, but you can see the chains on her too. Those are uh, what are used to restrain Nogiku, the Cyclops yokai, um, when she joins up with Kazemaru. And I did mention that this woman has two age scenes. She does. Um, one, and this is one of the reasons you would vassalize Kazemaru's, uh, Akashi. This is one reason you would vassalize Akashi. Before Kazemaru releases her, if you vassalize them, and you go and search there, Rance will find her in her incub incubation thingy, and there is a unique scene. Um, if he releases her into the wild... And you go to search for her and find her, which you can, and you need to do if you want to get Kazemaru's character clear. The scene is different. In both situations, I... Oh, jeez. I believe both situations. She goes back to Rance's, uh, concubine then. I'm not positive about the, uh, vassalization one because I've done that once. And it was an afterthought. Finding her was not something I intended at all. So. And now it's the capital battle, and... It's really, it's gonna be exactly as you would expect. It's not hard at all. Um, Notori can go, we'll need a ninja, right? Always, oh no, Maria, screw the ninja. They're gonna have a diviner watch, uh, or three. Oh, this isn't even their capital. <laughs> oh well, fuck you guys laughing at me in real life. That's what you're doing, I would. But anyway, this is an opportunity for you to see Gathered Food Merchants. I don't think we've gone over what they are. Um, they... Each army has commanders, right? Well, when all of their commanders have used their turn up and there isn't a unique situation where they are thrown in anyway, you get Gathered Food Merchants. They have all ones, and they're bad units. And, uh... That's it. So if I were to attack Akashi's capital now, it's very possible there would be food merchants there. Uh, usually in capitals, they won't deploy food merchants, though. Uh, it's only in other fights. Uh, yeah, my apologies for that. For that misleading capital hype. I know you love the music like I do. I know you do. Everyone does. Um, there we go. Turn 55, guys. Turn 55, that's pretty far into the game. And Koime is taking it easy. She's visiting graves, you know? <sighs> visiting graves. You know, if you've come to peace with whoever's grave you're visiting, you know, you can uh, get over... I mean, you're probably going to be sad your entire life that they're dead. But uh, 
After a period of time, you just get over it, you know? And it could be really relaxing, I think, to go and visit the grave. Um, I think it would be a peaceful, uh, more or less a, a good time, right? Good time to reminisce instead of a sad thing. That's if you do it with any kind of frequency. I mean, if you go visit someone's grave once every year or less, that's going to be rough. Ugh. Fortunately, I haven't had that in life yet. I haven't had to visit too many graves, though I've been to several funerals. Um, all in my youth. They, I was much younger when those took place. Anyway, that's what Koyame is doing. And I think Rance sends Syl with her, which is, is damn thoughtful. That's cute. And you would appreciate that. I would. And I think it's at this stage, too, she starts giving Rance the little, uh... Oh, God, what are they? Uh, Nissan, she calls him. Um, I forgot what they are. But she's basically referring to him as brother. More or less. And Rance Nissan. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Who doesn't want a little girl to call him Nissan? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think she calls him Nichan ever. Oh well. Nissan is cuter. But she uh she starts to develop a really strong relationship with Rance at this at this stage in the game as well. Mostly a brotherly one, but I think she also says that she would she would marry Rance, which is very cute. <laughs> a lot of people have that too, right? Maybe a lot of people have that. I don't know. I'm talking about young girls and how they see marriage. They'll just ask older men to marry them later in life. It's a cute thing that I've seen before. It's happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to other people too. Uh, when they're unknowing. I'm, I'm talking very little and unknowing. That sounds so out of context and bad, doesn't it? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright. Um, whatever. Anyway, Syl goes with Koime. And Koime shouldn't be doing those kinds of things alone, because I mean what, Nobunaga's been dead for a very short time, if you want to, uh... I've already discussed the completely weird timetables for this game, right? So... Oh, I know you can hear my train again too, can't you? I gotta stop feeding it. Um... I'm gonna continue with this part here. The part's been going over 15 minutes and I like that. It lets me, uh... Finish what I want to finish in the in the uh, videos So that's what's happening here. I'm going to finish Akashi in this video with my train present uh, It's important to me that the train gets involved in this video um, Maria now that I'm actually doing this here um, Kenshin and Yamamoto should I do it guys? I'll send in Yamamoto She's still not a really good unit. Oh, there they are, the patriotic children. Uh, doesn't that suck? That sucks. Little patriotic kids. 11 of them, and I don't have a choice. I gotta tear through them. Gotta tear through them. You can't, well, maybe you can capture them. <laughs> if, uh, if I don't capture either of them, and you have in the past, please let me know, because I've gotta a new fun thing to do in my next serious playthrough. And that is capture one of the patriotic boys and play with them. Well, as a unit. Oh boy. This video has all sorts of problems. Um, anyway, I probably should have sweeping fired the guy in the middle in the guard unit to lessen the guard's effect. I didn't do that and the train is leaving. I, I'm a block away from a train station. I have nothing better to talk about in this fight. Um, I like how it's all taking place on a bridge. Possibly the single worst choke point to be fighting against someone on in the history of warfare. Let's face that right now. Um, that would be bad. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like a moat, right? I don't think Japanese castles are well-renowned for having moats. But they probably did. I mean, it's an obstacle for people to overcome on their way to the castle. Uh, they were terraced, right? Like, Japanese castles had a terrace thing? The bigger ones. I don't know, I should look into that. In any case, it's not represented at all in this game. And that's when Sweeping Fire is at its least useful. Uh, it's still, it's still a hit. You know, whatever. 
Mady KG, boss of all bosses. Seriously, that's my favorite unit in the game. I actually, you know what? I'm probably gonna get a shirt made with Mady KG on it or something. Um, had I not graduated high school already, my, 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 my quote would have been, as expected of me, bring me some sake, because I'm one of those people. Yeah, that's what it would have been. Or just gahahaha. I fucking went to some hick high school, so no one knows what Sengoku rants there is. But everyone on the internet does, and that's where I love to be, is the internet. But this battle's almost over. This is not hard. I've never actually seen the um, patriotic children be musket wielders. I've always seen them as monks. Uh, heads up there. Oh, I can't. Oh, <laughs> mixed feelings. I uh, slaughtered one of the boys, but the other one I captured. That is, he's gonna be a good musket commander someday. It won't be in this playthrough either, though. I mean, I don't have the. Uh, it would be irresponsible of me to go out of my way and pour all of my money into an 11 troop musket unit for a let's play, wouldn't it? I'll do that later on when I'm fucking around in a different video. I'm not gonna do that now, but thought about it. Um, and the Asahina guy, who I did not kill with uh, the messed up nose, he'll uh, join another army, I believe. I think he's done. I'm really not sure about it. I, I, I recall it happening in the past. I remember the irony of forcing Kazemaru to attack one of his old subordinates, and that's always funny when that happens. So, yeah. Uh, here's where you're given the, uh, the options. Um, oh boy, I haven't really thought about it at all. Let me quickly go over what I'm gonna do with him. Uh, I'll just put him in my prison and see, instead of mustaching him. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna go to Doku Ganryu. So I don't really need him. I don't... Yeah, I'll mustache him. Whatever. I'll mustache him, you guys. I'll do it. He wants to die so you can kill him. Um, Mustaching him? You know, I'm pretty sure he dies or he just leaves in shame after this happens. They don't really tell you. He, uh, he just falls out of the game. At, at, after this. He's no longer relevant. Um, I guess that mustache is intended to make him look more masculine. Uh, certainly makes him look like a badass, and probably the scariest unit in the game, right? Uh, if that's a reference, let me know. If he looks like someone you know, let me know. I'd like to know what that's based on. Um, because I have no idea. But, uh, yeah. So, one of my, one of the characters with a character design that I adore is no longer in the game. So I could show you guys the mustache. I wasn't gonna recruit him anyway, I have... I mean, true route, your first playthrough, you got a lot of shit to deal with. You don't need something like him thrown into the mashup. And, uh, here is the H scene, so I guess I'll cut it here. See you in the next